It's 106 Game, Yale, Shay Diddy here. I have the pleasure of having the legend in the building, Carrie Hilson. Hello. That's right. Hi, how are you? I'm amazing. How are you on tour currently for the Millennium Tour? Yes. How's oh, it? man. Uh, it's exhausting, but oh, so fulfilling. So much fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with, I'm the only girl in a crew of a bunch of crazy guys. So <laughs> I was going to say that, that you have got to have seen some craziness on tour. Um, like, it doesn't get to, no, people really, I, I really am remembering how crazy people swear our lives are. Yeah. Um, I've seen, we've had a lot of funny moments, but for the most part, we're all, there's nothing wild about it. You know what I mean? Each of us are professionals. We're here to work. We're here to do our job and we go home and uh, right. we're clear the venue. Everyone swears like, can I get backstage access? We're like, for what though? It's so boring. Like everyone's in their room <laughs> listening to their music to get right before they're set. After they're set, right. they're back at the hotel. No one's hanging out in the hallways. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. So what what made you to decide to go on tour again? Because I know you've been doing your acting thing. Like, you know, fans have been asking for it for a while. So why yeah. now? Uh, I think because we had to sit down for so long. Um, yeah. I really quarantine on I really hadn't touched many stages um there were one-off dates here and there you know but it, there was never any um real prolonged opportunity to see my devout fans um right. and so this was a great opportunity to tour the entire U.S. um and see them and allow them to see me and feel me again and and that was really the line and sink the hook line and sinker for me was just oh man my fans haven't seen me in so long um even right. longer than, than most people i've been sitting down this is a it's a gift that gives back to me um, right so yeah yeah so do you think that going on tour but what i actually meant to ask y'all is are you planning on dropping new music because obviously fans want to see you but they also want to hear new music from you as well Right. Um, when new music is coming, I'll announce that. It won't be here. It won't be there. It will be on my own platform, my own way. Um, Got so it. when I'm ready, I, I will do that. We had a false start. Um, not as many as like publications and blogs. Um, mm -hmm. I've only had one false start and then my dad passed. Oh, and yeah. so, yeah, so um, I'm gearing up to do. And then I, you know, Obviously, I've taken on a lot of films since that time. So I was gonna say you've been working in the acting yeah. scene. I saw you starring in your <laughs> own movie. Go ahead, girl. <laughs> yes, I mean that's been a blessing because honestly, it allowed me to pause time and, and grieve in my own way. Um, yeah. Films have so much so much structure to them um, that it's not as chaotic as the music world. Um, you literally know where you're gonna be for twelve to sixteen hours every day. Um, and, uh, and you get to pause your world and live in an alternate universe for a couple months. And so right. that was such a welcome, uh, a welcome change for me. But yeah, I, I literally went, even before this tour, I wrapped tour. I mean, I wrapped a film and mm -hmm. we started rehearsals literally the day after I wrapped a film in Houston. So yeah, it's been one of those years. It's been a couple of those years. Um, but music is ready. It's, um, it's done. It's amazing. Oh. It's it's what I do. It's of standard, um, but, but it's unique and, and innovative as I've always kind of led the charge on a lot of different sounds. Um, mm -hmm. This is that. I don't think people remember how much you've written and just quietly just did your thing on that people are like, oh, crap, she actually got <laughs> bought. You know what I mean? It's kind of uh, like unless you scream it from the ceiling, people are just kind of like, oh. You know what I mean? But you definitely yeah. have a lot of accolades. And I know you said you just finished rapping. Is that Hip Hop Christmas Wedding? Is that the yes. one that we're talking about? Yes. Yes. So, <laughs> she's like, yes. But let's talk about it because it premieres in a week or two weeks on the 30th. So yes. how was that full experience for you? Amazing. I mean, these, these, okay, the, it's a sequel to, if you have it, those that are watching this that haven't seen Hip Hop Christmas Family, um, this is a sequel to that. So you must watch that first, or I suggest you watch that first. You can get the backstory on where things are going. But in this one, I'm getting married. It's the same family, the same characters. I am so in love with this cast. Like, yeah. we're like, can we just, let's just get a series. Cause I just want to work with you guys um, as often as possible. It's Terrence J, Neo, mm -hmm. MC Light, Red Man, Soraya, um, 
so many I know I'm gonna miss. Uh, Cassie is in this one. And it was um, pro produced by Jamie Foxx, I believe. Yeah, Jamie Foxx and Jatari Turner. Yes. And that's fire. Yeah. It's definitely something that we all got to look out for because I saw the trailer for it. I was like, oh, okay. You saw the trailer yeah. before me. What? Are you serious? <laughs> I haven't even seen the trailer to this this one. No, I haven't. Carrie's oh, like, I'm I've gonna, been I'm working. Gonna somebody after this talk. <laughs> It definitely looks good. And then um, I also saw your last movie that was on Lifetime, which was amazing. I feel like that role was made oh. for you. But <laughs> why? You know, just because. I don't know. Why? The, wait, are you trying to say? Hold on. Let me see. <laughs> Temptress. Um, no, I was. No, I was married in this film and I was. Well, I was getting married. I was a fiance. You're talking about lust on You're Lifetime. Talking about I'm talking about less on Lifetime, and I'm just okay. saying as far as because of the musical aspect of it and how they brought the entertainment into the film, that's why I'm like, am I talking about the different film? I'm like, See, like I don't <laughs> think there's any music. You might be talking about For the Love of Money, maybe. Oh. I, For the Love of Money watching. that was out in theaters, and now it's on, I want to say Netflix or one of these streaming sites. You might be talking about that because I was a singer also in that. The box. There I, it is. Okay, okay, okay. That's probably what it is. I watched yes. too many I watched too I was many, like, too many wait, movies. Are you trying to say I was made to be a temptress or a homewrecker? No. Oh, no, girl. I would no. never. I would never. I would never. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are super excited to have you coming to the Bay. November 27th, the Millennium mm -hmm. Tour comes through Oakland. Any mm -hmm. little words you want to say to people to come out to the show or last words you want to say to the Bay before we let you go? First of all, I already know what the crowd is about to give because any and every time I've ever toured, done a show, did a club date, it didn't matter why I was coming. Any reason I've ever been in the Bay Area, and I mean any city there, I have had a blast, but the crowd yep. is so, like it's, it's up there with the best of them as far as um, crowds, performers love to be in. Right. Um, so I'm just excited for that. It's the last stop of this Millennium Tour. We're going to be clowning. We're going to have high, beautiful energy because we're ready to end this, okay, with a bang, <laughs> with a bang. So we're all going to be going extra hard. We're all going to be giving our absolute best, as we do every night. But there's going to be something really, really special about it being the last stop in Oakland. I'm pretty sure that was done intentionally because, like I said, Oakland is always a great crowd. So, And by the way, those of you that are intending or wanting – to come, don't be late. Take that, that from take that from Miss Carrie Baby. I'm not saying that because I'm performing early. I'm like third to last. I'm saying that because you don't want to miss anybody on this one. This lineup is ridiculous. Ridiculous. <laughs> when I tell you, you may not even remember what songs each act has, but once you're in that arena. Mm -hmm. the level of high energy nostalgia it's gonna hit you it's gonna bust you in your face or you're gonna be late and you're gonna come thinking oh I just want to see my favorites and then you're gonna be watching everyone else's stories and posts like I miss that I miss that I miss that oh my god I miss that that was my song I'm telling you and and also don't be late because there is no time in between acts this is a very Ooh. one if you can see yeah if you can see the lineup you will notice it's a lot of people for an arena tour, okay? And normally there's a huge changeover time, might be 10 to 20 minutes of a changeover band, uh, yeah. stage setting, stage plot, all of that, right? Th this doesn't, no, literally one artist goes off, the other artist is coming on. One artist yep. stops their music, the next artist begins their intro. So don't be late, be there when doors open. I don't know if this is a eight o'clock door or a seven o'clock door, whatever the case, be there. <laughs> or be mad be there or be salty be there or be mad is exactly the way we're going to end it that's perfect Carrie Hilson we appreciate you for coming through can't wait to see you next week yes. in Oakland Millennium Tour is coming by the way I saw you at Summer Jam years ago the last time we had you okay bodied your performance then and I know this one's going to be even better so oh, make yeah. sure you guys pull up right you yes, pull me. up on us this one's even better letter. all of us are bringing it for sure Exactly. <laughs> Can't Shay wait to come back, girl. Though. Cannot wait. Appreciate you for sliding through. Thank you, Thank you for having me, Miss Cappy, baby. <laughs> <laughs>